Now the first feature we'll look at is all tracks are equal. The idea with this feature is that in Band in a Box 2021, we introduced all of these utility tracks. And they were tracks that you could record your own audio on, or you could also add some real tracks to them. However, you could not add real drums to them, or loops, or user tracks, or that kind of thing. But now they behave like the other tracks, the original Band in a Box tracks, in that you can add whatever you like, drums, loops, or anything at all. And those elements can also be included in styles. So with the new release, you'll find many styles that actually load these instruments automatically onto the utility tracks when you load the style. So with this file here, I've now got a song partially entered, but on the utility tracks, these three tracks here were actually loaded along with this Remix Modern Country 16th style. And I added another real track myself, this soloist, just by clicking on the track and going to select real tracks. I added a couple of percussion tracks. Again, just by clicking on the tracks and going to choose real drums. And I even added a loop just by again clicking on the track and going to select a loop for this track. So I'll just finish entering a progression here. F, G minor, A minor, D minor, and C. I'll do the same thing again. F, G minor, A minor, and then B flat, and C. And maybe I'll just copy uh, the first eight bars and paste them right here. And maybe I'll just change the whole key of the song to A. So that transposes everything. If you're new to Band in a Box, this is basically how easy it is to enter a whole song. You just pick the style, set the tempo, the form, enter chords, and then you press play and it generates all the parts based on the chords you entered. So I will do that now. And here we have the style plane with the style tracks here, including these three style tracks, which were part of the style on the utility tracks, the soloist reel track, which I added after, these percussion tracks, which I added, and the loop that I added, all thanks to this new all tracks are equal feature. Now, the other thing with all tracks are equal is that using those tracks takes up way less hard drive space. Before utility tracks were introduced, for real tracks or real drums, when you generate the tracks over your chord progression, it didn't create new audio files to play back your song. Instead, with those original tracks, it would just point to the original source material that you have installed on your computer, pointing to different parts, so maybe a bar here and a couple of bars there, two beats from another file. It would just point to all of those and that's what you'd be hearing when you'd play your song in Band in a Box. However, when we introduced the utility tracks in Band in a Box 2021, it would generate the part and write it as a new WAV file and that's what you'd be hearing in Band in a Box. And so it would be a new very large WAV file for every utility track that you used. So this song, for example, in Band in a Box 2021, if you looked at the resulting files, it would look something like this. You'd have this file here that would contain the chords and the original Band in a Box tracks, but all of the utility tracks would each then individually be a separate WAV file. And if you look at the size here, they all total to probably around 200 megabytes for this one song. But with all tracks are equal, the exact same thing is now all saved in a single SGU file, which only takes up 67 kilobytes of space. And it's not just the hard drive space. I find it makes my workflow go so much smoother if you only have to keep track of one file instead of eight different files. Yeah.